Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 facts about the Sasanian Empire. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Before the Muslim conquest in the mid-7th century AD, the Sasanian dynasty was the last Persian imperial dynasty. It was named after the House of Sasan and lasted for nearly four centuries, from 224 to 651 AD, making it the Persian dynasty with the longest lifespan. In late antiquity, the Sasanian Empire succeeded the Parthian Empire, re-establishing the Iranians as a powerhouse alongside its arch-rival, the Roman Byzantine Empire. Here are the 10 facts about them. Number 10. Ardashir I a provincial Iranian monarch who rose to prominence when Parthia crumbled due to internal instability, and conflicts with Rome, formed the Sasanian Empire. He created the Sasanian dynasty after defeating the last Parthian Shahanshah, Artabanus IV, in the Battle of Hormozgan in 224, and set out to restore the Achaemenid Empire's legacy by expanding Iran's dominions. The Sasanian Empire spanned all of modern-day Iran and Iraq, as well as sections of southern Arabia, the Caucasus, and Central Asia, and spanned from the eastern Mediterranean, including Anatolia and Egypt, to Pakistan. According to mythology, the empire's vexiloid was the Deravish Kaviani. Number 9. The Sasanian period is regarded as a high point in Iranian history. And it was, in many respects, the pinnacle of ancient Iranian culture, prior to the Muslim conquest and subsequent Islamization. The Sasanians tolerated their subjects' diverse faiths and cultures, developed a complex, centralized government bureaucracy, resurrected Zoroastrianism, as a legitimizing and unifying force of their rule, constructed grand monuments and public works, and patronized cultural and educational institutions. The empire's cultural influence spread well beyond its territorial boundaries, influencing medieval art in Western Europe, Africa, China, and India. Much of Islamic culture was influenced by Persian civilization, which influenced art, architecture, music, literature, and philosophy throughout the Muslim world. The Sassanids formed an empire roughly within the Parthian Arsacid's borders, with Ctesiphon in the Asaristan province as its capital. In order to administer this empire, Sassanid monarchs used the title of Shahanshah, King of Kings, establishing themselves as the central overlords and assuming guardianship of the sacred fire, the state Zoroastrianism. On Sasanid coins, the reigning monarch is depicted on the obverse with his crown and paraphernalia of office, while the sacred fire, the national religion symbol, is depicted on the reverse. Banbishnan Banbishan was the title given to Sasanid queens, queen of queens. Number 8. On a smaller scale, the province could be administered by a group of Shahdar, or petty rulers from a noble family who are directly monitored by the Shahanshah. A Sharab and a Mobed presided over the province's districts, chief priest. The Mobed's job was to handle wills, trusts, and other legal concerns. Significant centralization, ambitious urban planning, agricultural expansion, and scientific advancements were all hallmarks of Sasanian power. A formidable bureaucracy, headed by the Wuzhog Framadar, carried out much of the government's business beneath the monarch, vizier or prime minister. The Zoroastrian priesthood wielded enormous power inside this bureaucracy. The emperor's most powerful men were the Mobed and Mobed, the head of the Magi priestly class, the Spabed, the commander-in-chief, Ho Tokshan Bod, the head of the traders and merchants syndicate Ho Tokshan Bod, and the minister of agriculture, Wasteri Ocean Salar, who was also the head of farmers. Number 7. The Sasanian emperors always listened to their minister's counsel. Masudi, a Muslim historian, lauded the Sasanian monarch's good administration, well-ordered policy, care for their subjects, and the wealth of their territories. In normal times, the monarchical office was hereditary, but the king might transfer it to a younger son, in two cases, queens possessed supreme power. When there was no direct heir, the nobles and prelates picked a ruler, although they could only choose members of the royal family. Number 6. Old Parthian clans, Persian aristocratic families, and noble families from subject lands made up the Sasanian nobility. Following the downfall of the Parthian dynasty, many new noble families arose, though several of the once dominant seven Parthian clans remained powerful. The old Arsacid families of the House of Karan, and the House of Surin, as well as many other families, the Varazes and Andagans, held positions of high respect at Ardashir I's court. The monarchs of Merv, Abashar, Kerman, Sakastan, Iberia, and Adiabene, who are recorded as having places of distinction among the nobles, appeared at the court of the Shahanshah alongside these Iranian and non-Iranian noble families. 
Indeed, the Sirens, Karens, and Varatai's vast realms had become semi-independent republics within the original Sassanid kingdom. Thus, despite being subject to the Shahanshah, the noble families who frequented the court of the Sassanid, empire continued to be reigning lines in their own right. Because the priests had reintroduced the concept of Rn Shah, the link between priests and soldiers was crucial. The Sassanid Empire would not have lasted in its early phases without this alliance. Religion and state were regarded interwoven in the Zoroastrian religion, because of this interaction between the warriors and the priests. However, it was this same interdependence that led to the empire's demise, as one party attempted to force its will on the other. Disagreements between priests and warriors caused the empire to splinter, eventually leading to its demise. Number 5. Shields and lances were issued to anyone serving in the infantry. To increase the size of their army, the Sassanids added men from the Medes and Dilemites to their own. High-quality javelin throwers, slingers, and heavy infantry were provided by the Medes to the Sassanid army. Ammianus Marcellinus describes Iranian troops as, armed like gladiators, who follow instructions like so many horseboys. The Dilemite people, who were Iranians who lived primarily in Gilan, Iranian Azerbaijan, and Mazandaran, also served as soldiers. They are said to have fought with daggers, swords, and javelins, and to have been recognized by the Romans for their close quarter combat prowess and toughness. According to one narrative, Dilemites took part in an invasion of Yemen in which 800 of them were led by Dilemite officer Varis. Varis would finally defeat Arab armies in Yemen and its capital, Sana, converting Yemen into a Sasanian client state until the Arab invasion of Persia. Number 4. Klibanari and Cataphracts were two types of heavy cavalry regiments deployed under the Sassanid Empire. Light cavalry, infantry, and archers backed up the first cavalry force, which was made up of exceptional noblemen who had been trained since childhood for military service. These early cavalry regiments contained mercenaries and tribal people from across the empire, including Turks, Kushans, Sarmatians, Khazars, Georgians, and Armenians. The battle elephants were used in the second cavalry. Elephants' cavalry support was, in fact, one of their specialties. Number 3. The Sassanids, unlike the Parthians, created advanced siege engines. During battles with Rome, where success rested on the capacity to conquer towns, and other fortified places, the creation of siege weaponry was a vital tool. Conversely, the Sassanids devised a number of ways for defending their own towns from attack. The Sassanid army was similar to the Parthian army before it, with the exception that part of the Sassanids' heavy cavalry carried lances, whereas Parthian armies were heavily armed with bows. Like the Parthians, the Sassanids were constantly at odds with the Roman Empire. For more than 400 years, the Sassanids, who succeeded the Parthians, were regarded as one of the most powerful world empires, alongside its neighboring adversary, the Byzantine Empire, or Eastern Roman Empire. Following the split of the Roman Empire in 395, Persia's main western and overall enemy remained the Byzantine Empire, with its capital at Constantinople. Hostilities between the two empires become increasingly common. Similar to the Roman Empire, the Sassanids were constantly at odds with neighboring kingdoms and nomadic hordes. Although the threat of nomadic incursions could never be completely eliminated, the Sassanids were far more successful than the Romans in dealing with them, thanks to their policy of coordinating campaigns against threatening nomads. Number 2. The Sassanids, in contrast to Parthian civilization, placed a fresh focus on charismatic and centralized government. The ideal society, according to Sassanid ideology, could sustain stability. And justice, and a strong monarch was the required instrument for this. As a result, the Sasanians set out to establish an urban empire, which they did admirably. Mesopotamia had the highest population density, the medieval world during the late Sasanian period. This can be attributed to the Sasanians founding and re-founding of a number of cities, which is mentioned in the surviving Middle Persian, literature Shah Estaniya I Iran Shah, the provincial capitals of Iran. Ardashir the first built and renovated various cities, including V Ardashir in Asaristan, Ardashir Quara in Pars, and Varman Ardashir in Mishan, all of which he named after himself. Many cities bearing the name Iran Quara were founded during the Sasanian period. This was due to the desire of the Sasanians to resurrect Avesta doctrine. The Shahan Shah, King of Kings, sometimes known as the Shah, was the ruler of the Sasanian Empire, King. The King of Sasanians were supporters of literature and philosophy. Hosrau I had Plato's and Aristotle's works translated into Pahlavi and taught at Gunsapur, where he read them. 
Many historical annals were compiled during his reign, the Karnamak i Artaksha i Papakan, Deeds of Ardashir, a mixture of history and romance that served, as the basis for the Iranian national epic, the Shahnameh, being the sole survivor. When Justinian I shut down Athens' schools, seven of the city's teachers fled to Persia and sought sanctuary at Hosrau's palace. The Sasanian king stipulated in his 533 pact with Justinian, that the Greek sages be permitted to return and be free of persecution. Number 1. The Sasanian period saw some of Iranian, civilization's most awe-inspiring artistic achievements. Much of what would later be known as Muslim culture, including, as architecture and writing, was influenced by Persian culture. The Sasanian Empire spanned western Anatolia to northwest India, modern-day Pakistan, although its influence extended far beyond these formal borders. Sasanian motifs appeared in Central Asian and Chinese art, as well as the Byzantine Empire and Merovingian France. Islamic art, on the other hand, was the actual heir to Sasanian art, whose ideals it was to assimilate while infusing new life and vigor into it. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.